Hi, my name is David Kirkham. I'm the president of Kirkham Motorsports. Welcome to another edition of Kirkham Motorsports University. Today we're going to show you how we take a 386 pound billet block of aluminum that we had custom forged for us and turn it into this beautiful 427 FE billet aluminum block. We machined it from a solid block of aluminum and we're going to show you how we did it. Thanks for joining us. These are custom forged blocks that we had made by Forging House. We're going to use these for the billet aluminum blocks. We're about to start the first operation on our billet aluminum block. We have a big forged piece of aluminum in there, weighs almost 400 pounds, 380 some pounds. And there's Dave, about ready to hit the go button. There's the first operation of the bell housing side of the billet block. Now we're going to take it and flip it over and machine the water pump side of the block, the front of the block. There's Sendrich getting ready to cut the lower die. It's one of the operation dies for the billet aluminum engine block. There he goes. Here it is all machined out the lower fixture plate. We finished the first operation and bolted the block down to a new fixture plate for the second op. And here's Dave ready to do the second op. You can see we're right at the top of our motion on our machine, right at the end of the axis. And uh, there's the block. Good old American manufacturer. We need some custom made end mills to be able to do the engine block. As you can see, these end mills have been relieved, but they haven't been relieved far enough. That little area there is where we have relieved it. We've ground the end mill a little more, and if you can't find the end mill that you need, well, you just make it. It's a cubic boron nitride grinding wheel. We have it in our special hard alloy mill. We're gonna go and grind release in that end mount.
sleeve that we're going to be using and the block. The holes are drilled up in the top to help the cooling against the head. And you can see it's neck down right here where the O-rings go. Here's the finished block. And here's the main side of the block. When we started out with this block, it weighed 386 pounds. We just finished, and it weighs 64. That's about 17% of the materials left. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. And we'll show you when we put this thing on the dyno.